Hey guys, it's Bill again from Competition Cars. Now we're going to do the driving video of this 1972 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. 64,000 miles on it. So Christian, if you'll walk around the car so the people can see the uh, paint and natural light. New paint. New wood grain. Fully serviced, ready to go. Dual exhaust. Got a really good look to it. Again, as I mentioned in the other video, the paint job. It's not a concourse paint job. It's respectable. It's got a good look. If you start nitpicking it and, and put it under a microscope, you'll see, you know, a little fish eye, a little trash here or there. It's very minimal. But we paint corrected the whole car. I mean, it's got, I mean, the brunt of the car is the hood. It looks great. You can see it's, it's done right there. Uh, but again, the, the sides had to have some blend work done. And when they went back and did that, you know, picked up some trash or whatever here and there. And, and again, I don't want to mislead you because it's not a, a terrible paint job by any means. It's just not a concourse paint job. It's, it's a respectable paint job. Look how straight that side is. There's no rust on this car. And you know what? I'm really impressed the way this undercarriage looks. Can you kind of maybe get the camera up under the back end to see how solid and clean it is? I mean, look at that, looks really, uh, really nice. All right, so let's hop in and go for a ride. And as you guys know, I'm all about full disclosure on these cars. Um, you got a really nice interior, you got air conditioning, you got an AM, an AM radio that can hear it trying to come on but it doesn't pick up any station just am anyway but like this this little panel here both sides are a little bit kind of dry and cracked up a little bit if you notice that just notice that there so you got that going on um, power steering power brakes we're gonna put the air on air's really nice we had a brand new compressor put on it and it's service it has been converted to r134 i love the third row seat i love the fold down visors in the back that's pretty cool i love the uh triple sky view sunroofs, I guess you call it. Horn works. Wipers work. Everything, everything this car has works except that AM radio. It's got the Rocket 350. It's very responsive. Now keep in mind, this is a station wagon. So for a wagon, this thing kicks on down the road pretty good. I've got some, some good paperwork with the car. If you look at the pictures in the bring a trailer uh, auction, Got some good paperwork, the original window sticker. I think it was a bill of sale, some other odds and ends, but some, some really cool stuff that goes with the car. I said the air blows really nice and cold. So the back window is powered. You can unlock, roll that back window down with the key. The factory switch is here. That switch doesn't work, but there's another factory GM switch here that will allow that back window to go up and down, as you can see. It's just been repositioned. I'm sure. The original switch can be fixed, but we just didn't dig into it. You know, time didn't permit. I did all the important things on this car to make sure that it was road ready. When you hit the brakes, it stops straight. There's no shaking, no shimming, no pulsing. I love the steering wheel. I mean, it's a very sporty, with, you know, when you got the super stock wheels and the steering wheel on it, it just gives it a really sporty look. I love the color. I think the white walls look great on those super stock wheels. It's got a nice look, and it dries extremely comfortably. And yeah, paint across the hood. Look how nice that paint is. And I know I've kind of um, talked a little bit about the paint, but it, it, it is nice. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's not a bad paint job. It's just you know, it, 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 it wasn't the uh, concourse number number one car paint job that you know that some people might expect or might want. Whatever. So it is what it is. This is definitely driver plus quality condition. No doubt it wins car shows. Go to your local car shows. Yeah, I like the fact it's got dual exhaust. It's 350 with a four barrel. So we're gonna turn around up here. So it's kind of a warm day. Air, again, air is blowing really nice and cold. The car's probably already up to operating temperature. So I'll turn around and we'll kind of step on it and see what we got in the way of power. So you guys can see it goes through the gears properly. Drive so 
is smooth, you know? It really does. Turn signals work. Today is Thursday, April what? What's today's date? 27. 27th. So I, I approved the draft on bringing a trailer for them to start this. So this car could go live today or tomorrow. I'm excited to see what it does. There's not many of these left in good condition. It's been pretty well preserved. <coughs> so we'll pull out here. Come to stop. I'll kind of step on it so you guys can see what kind of power it's got. Let me turn this air down. Well, there you go. Not too bad for a wagon. The damn thing pulls pretty good, actually. Shifted through the gears nicely. We'll do that one more time. But on this straightaway here. Downshifts perfectly. Again, I'm not abusing the car, guys, but I just want you guys to see that it does perform like it should. 354 barrel. So there you go. If you're on the way to get groceries at Kroger and you decide to floor it, that's what you get. It's a fun grocery getter, guys. So check it out. Any questions, put them in the comment section. We appreciate you guys, and um, good luck bidding.